Morning guys, thought I'd do a quick video uh, whilst I'm here considering what to have for my breakfast. Um, I'm not going to be too long because I've got <laughs> my little rabble all waiting for food and they're going to start screaming and shouting at me in a minute so um, yeah, I need to get them fed. Anyway, vegan style foods, what to have for breakfast? Um... There's loads. I mean, for God's sakes, there's plenty to choose from. Um, there's, I love this. This is the Bergen bread. You can get this from Asda when you can get it. It's really, really hard sometimes to get hold of. It's lovely, really nice toasted uh, with a bit of Bosch Vitalite butter on it um, and whatever you want on top. A uh, bit of vegan cheese maybe instead, you know, like cheese on toast. Ooh, with a bit of mushrooms or whatever you fancy uh, on the side. Um, this is lovely. This is the Kellogg's Crunching Up Granola. You've got to bear in mind, you've got to check your ingredients because most of these, by the way, don't think that they're all vegan because they're not. Um, I had to sift through and I was checking these when I, my dad says, oh, do you want these? Because my, 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 my oh, I can't even speak. My son, um, he says, oh, I don't want them. They're gorgeous. This is the pistachio and dark chocolate. Yeah, you do have to read the um, ingredients. I was about to say the instructions. <laughs> um, check it out and just see whether it contains any milk, milk powder, anything like that. Um, because quite a few of these do contain milk. Um, but they have to list it because it's um, an allergen to a lot of people. So there you go. That's that. Nice. Love it. Um, good couple of handfuls in a bowl um, with maybe these. This is my favourite. I've only found this in Asda. Um, this is the Alpro Creamy Coconut Long Life Dessert. These are great just having in the cupboard. Um, you know, they are absolutely fantastic just to have in as a backup. So if you've run out of dessert or you just fancy a change or, you know, you're going away somewhere. I mean, I'm thinking next year because I'm supposed to be going to Landudno as a holiday with my family. And the buffet breakfast, there's lots of things that I'm sure are put in the same oil that they fry. This, the bacon and, you know, sausages in. And I just don't want to be worrying what I'm eating. So basically, um, I'll be taking some of these with me. Along with probably some of this in like bags. So uh, yeah, make a nice... They've got loads of date on them. It's like 2021, there you go. So that's an indication how long you've got. Anyway, that's them. This is my favourite. I love this. This is the Jordan's Crunchy Country Crisp with Crunchy Chunky Nuts. What a tongue twister. What a tongue twister. I'm just saying that after a few gins. Um, I couldn't say it even without. There you go. So sometimes I like to team it up with this one, the Velvet Vanilla. That's gorgeous as well. Um, or some Oatly Yogurt. That's great, by the way. Nice and thick. You can imagine doing like that as a cheesecake topping. The Oatly yogurt. It's really, really good. Um, anyway, there's loads. Uh, Aldi do these. The Vio, the vegan brioche burger buns. You could put bacon, vegan bacon in there. Some Linda McCartney sausages, if you like those. I can't stand her stuff anymore. I don't know what it is. I think because there's such um, a variety of, you know, things like the Beyond Sausages and all of these other companies now. Um, you know, your taste buds can change. I just find that the Linda McCartney stuff, it just does not taste nice anymore. It's got a weird texture to it and just a weird taste. So I tend to stay clear of Linda Mac foods now. Um, I really do. But they used to be my absolute <laughs> lifeline when I um, first stopped eating meat. You know, she suddenly created her burgers at the, in the 80s at the right time for me. Um, 
you know, and really was my lifeline because that's all I lived off, as well as jacket potatoes back then. Um, okay, so this is the La, I can't even pronounce this, La Bougiere vegan pan of chocolates. I love these, these are fantastic. Chuck them in the microwave for 30 seconds, not even 30 seconds, I don't know, I don't like to say. Fibro fogs kicked in, I can't remember how long I bung them in for, but not long, just enough to warm them up and melt. Um, or you can put them in the oven, they are amazing. Love these absolutely love them they're found in asda i've never seen them anywhere else in fact my dad found these on lockdown um you give him a menu you know anywhere go out somewhere he can't see without his glasses yet he now can spot the word vegan on packaging and i'm really really impressed he likes just found these things you know he was like oh vegan food he's not vegan himself you know but it's like they like to buy me something because they buy my, my lad loads of stuff and me, you know, they like don't want to leave me out. So, uh, yeah, they picked up these during their very early morning as the shop um, during lockdown. It's all going to slide off in a minute. What else have I got? I've got this. This is also from the same range, La Bougiere. Vegan, these are the croissants. The, the only thing I hate about this and this is the fact that they are individually wrapped, which isn't a bad thing if you're going to be going away somewhere and you want to have something as a, a help, you know, for breakfast. Um, but they, you know, they do contain a lot of plastic and I'm really aware of it. And, you know, these days it is, you know, sort of a no-no isn't it really so uh yeah but they are good and these are both found in asda if you can get them because they seem to sell out really really quickly so that's those anything else anything else i don't think so i think i'm right to the end of the pile now this is just my favorite sometimes i've had this as a if i can't sleep I'm really struggling with pain somnia. I come downstairs and I've had to have a slice of this and sit and just chill with a drink for a bit and then go back upstairs and try and grab a couple of hours kip. But I love it. This is the Bosch Ultimate Chocolate Cake. It isn't a breakfast food, as I would tell my son, but it still helps me. It's gorgeous. Nice melted. Oh, God, I've got a cat over there. She's a little rat bag. A little rat. Yes, Luna Boona. Um, yeah, I thought she was going to jump up on top of the cupboards. Um, yeah, this is great, melted. Um, that, I don't know, in the microwave, just whop it in for a bit and then put some um, Swedish glaze on the side. Oh my God, it's heaven on a plate. It's gorgeous. Obviously, I wouldn't recommend it as a breakfast, but hey, um, <laughs> when you can't sleep, and you need some it just as a bit of uh, bit of medicinal purposes. This is amazing. It really does hit the spot. Right, guys, I'm going to wrap this up because these guys are getting very, very, very fidgety, very twitchy, aren't you? You want feeding? Yeah, hungry. You're not going to say anything now, are you? Usually these are screaming their heads off. I've got eight of them. And they all start squawking. It's usually when I'm trying to make myself coffee. Ooh, should I show you the coffee? These are my favourites. Coffee, well, I'm thinking breakfast. Breakfast. Excuse the rustic floor. I think I've said before, I'm waiting to have a new kitchen put in. Um, although I think I'm going to be waiting till after Christmas by the look of things with lockdown and everything else. Look at my pantry. My son says, oh, this is your pantry because there's nothing in here for me. Mm. Well, actually, it's like a 98% a of this is my stuff because I can't reach stuff up in the cupboards. Um, but yeah, anyhow, these are amazing. These are the Nescafe oat lattes. I love them. As you can see, I've got millions and millions in my pantry. There's uh, almond ones and there's coconut ones as well that you can get as the sainsbury's i think no not sainsbury's tesco's they do them as well but asda is the one place that i get mine from 
Um, yeah, my stock of them is just everywhere. I stop piling them in when they're on offer because I just go through loads of them. You know, they're great to take in your handbag. They're great to take um, to my family members. Oh, get down. Oh, see, they are. <laughs> they're hungry. They're trying to nip my food. Um, yeah, they're just great to have in your handbag. I mean, like, you go into the hairdressers and it's like, the you know, and mine especially will be like, it's got a fancy coffee machine. It's like, do you want a latte or anything? And I'll be like, no thanks. He forgets every time. Um, I say, but I've got one of these. Can you just put some hot water in and uh, a clean spoon? And jobs, jobs are good. And, um, or you're just going out and about somewhere or going to a friend's or... You know, you don't trust what's being offered you, so for one reason or another, or going on holiday and you want something that is accessible because you don't know whether they're going to have any oat milk or anything in the dining room. So these are a great option. They're just fab. I mean, they do work out expensive. It is cheaper just to buy a big jar of coffee and some um, Alpro milk, but sometimes... You know, these are just handy, or if you're just like me and you really just want simplicity. So there you go. So yeah, this is my pantry, my make-do pantry. I wanted it with posh shelves in there, but it hasn't happened, so I've had to just improvise. But I've got anything and everything in here, as well as all my new stuff waiting to go in my new kitchen when it eventually happens. I'm waiting for a wet room to be done as well, but I don't know what's happening with anything. It's really crap at the moment with COVID, but we'll see. I mean, I'm going to start um, chaining myself to the council railings, I think, just to get the bathroom sorted out. It is crazy. I've been waiting months and months and months. Um, I've got leaky taps. I've got leaky taps upstairs. I've got leaky taps downstairs. It's... Uh, yeah, that's the tap you can actually hear that's running, but hey, just plod on, keep going. Anyway, I'm going to go because these are just waiting to savage me now because they, they're so hungry, aren't you? You're hungry, hungry girl. Right, I shall love and leave. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.